Hey everybody, this is Lindsay from the PickyPagesProject.com and today we're doing something a bit different. It is the book tag, um, 25 bookish facts about me. I wasn't tagged by anyone, but I wanted to do it anyway, so <laughs> I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, so the first fact could be that uh, this is my first bookish tag that I have ever done in my entire life. So that's number one. I prefer middle grade books over teen and adult and young reader and storybooks. I love middle grade the most. I smell books all the time. I smell new books. I smell old books. My favorite are antique books. They smell the best. I always carry a book with me. I always carry books with me. Um, and in the summertime, that means things like canoes and, and hikes and fishing trips. Uh, but for a long period of time, it meant the aisles of hardware stores. So I got <laughs> a lot done. Um, I got a lot of reading done in the aisles of hardware stores. We were renovating. <laughs> so. I did a lot of reading at home hardware. Another bookish fact, I'm not sure if this other person knows this, but um, the one of the reasons that I have a YouTube channel now is because of Ashley from Said the Story. Uh, I met Ashley at a book event uh, last summer and we were talking about she had a YouTube channel she has a YouTube channel and I just I had a blog and I wanted to start a YouTube channel and she said that the hardest part about starting a YouTube channel was starting the YouTube channel and just to do it so I just did it and thank you Ashley <laughs> so I don't know if I, I'm pretty sure I don't know I don't know if you remember me but thank you <laughs> I could care less if my books are paperback or hardcover. I don't care. It's a book and I love it and I'll read it and usually I'm too impatient to wait for the paperback to come out anyway so I have a lot of hardcovers ending off my series. Um, however, I hate it, hate it, hate it when a publisher decides to change the cover art of a book halfway through the series or almost to the end of the series um, and makes it really hard to get the old cover art to finish off the series. <laughs> so I don't care if it's hardback, hardcover, or paperback, but leave my cover art alone. <laughs> I, just, I want it to match. That's it. That's all I need. The first piece of bookishness that I've ever owned that is not a book or a book mark our bookshelf was my necklace here from Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows, and I only got this like a couple weeks ago, so um, I haven't had a lot of bookish stuff, surprisingly. Uh, I don't know why. I keep my dust jackets on. I don't take my dust jacket, my da dust jackets off. Cause I'll lose them and I'd rather them be torn or dirty or tattered than not have them at all and they're usually torn dirty or tattered because I take them everywhere with me <laughs> so but I don't take the dust jackets off however the first thing I do when I come across a really pretty hardcover in a bookstore is uh, take off the dust jacket and see if there's anything really really fun going on underneath the dust jacket. And if there's something really cool or pretty, uh, just any kind of extra, you've pretty much sold me a book. I like to read with background noise. So whether that's people hanging out in the background, talking, um, hustle and bustle of uh, being in public, or the TV, or a radio, or something, a movie. <clears throat> I like to have something on in the background. I don't need it, but I like it. I can read in a car, which a lot of people can't do, apparently. Um, I, if I'm a passenger in a car, or yeah, if I'm a passenger in a car, 
Um, I'm usually reading. <laughs> And if you want my attention, you need to speak up, because I'm pretty much lost in that book. <laughs> I am horrible at finishing series. I've only, I think, finished two, Hunger Games and Beautiful Creatures. I'm so sorry, guys. I never finished the seventh Harry Potter book. I'm going to try to do that now. <laughs> sorry. Um, I haven't finished City of Bones. I haven't finished Allegiant. There are so many. So many, and I haven't finished them. Percy Jackson, I I think that's going to be my summer goal, maybe, is to finish off some series. I worked in a bookstore for two years. Um, it was amazing, and I loved it. Uh, I got to be surrounded by books all day long. It was perfect. Uh, life took me in a different direction, but I loved working in the bookstore. So that was two years of my life that I loved. Um, because I worked in a bookstore for two years, I don't care when someone spoils me on a book. I hate spoiling books for other people, but if you spoil a book for me, that's okay. Um, it kind of comes with the territory of working in a bookstore. Everyone wants to tell you everything about the books, so I don't mind. I'll still finish the book. I have at least three books with me when I go anywhere. Um, sometimes you don't really notice because it's usually a teen book and then maybe two early readers which are really tiny and thin or it's um, a book and a, an ebook of a graphic novel or something. I don't, it's always three. There's always three. <laughs> I have not ever cried um, from reading a book. I'm not a book crier. Um, I know Fault in Our Stars was sad. It was really sad. I didn't cry. I'm sorry. I can't cry. <laughs> My favorite bookmark is this guy. Where you clip it on the front of the book and you flip the ribbon on the inside. I, I feel like it holds my page better than any other bookmark. And I really like the ribbon. That's nice. I enjoy the ribbon. I don't have a favorite genre. Um, I like horror, I like contemporary, fantasy, anything. I'll read it. I do not have a favorite. I drink beverages and eat snacks and meals while reading. I don't understand how people don't do this because you could be reading for a really long time <laughs> and I feel like food is necessary and hydration is important. So I drink and eat while reading, whether it ruins the book or not. <laughs> I still do it. My favorite book memory is reading the Harry Potter books with my mom. Uh, not out loud with her, but we used to have competitions to see who could finish the book quicker, and I would usually win. Uh, but we would talk about the books afterwards, and we went to the movies together. So those are my favorite book memories. I am the proud owner of a book chair. My boyfriend made me a book chair for Christmas one year um, and it's piled high with books out in the other room and his family, my family, made me cushions for it. So that's kind of where I take a lot of my Instagram pictures of my books. Uh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> I am a Hufflepuff and a Thunderbird. Those are my houses, my wizarding houses. I don't like reading ebooks unless it's a storybook for ages 3 to 5 or a graphic novel. I can't do novels with the ebook. I've tried. Um, it would save a lot of space on the shelves, but I can't do it. I don't enjoy it as much. I need the spine and the hand. I don't know. Gotta smell the book. <laughs> I used to organize my shelves by um, the different sections and then by author's last name. Um, it was a lot of work. Uh, I did, for a little while, sort my books by color and it was gorgeous but I could never find anything <laughs> so I hated it. Um, now I sort my books by red and to be read, different bookshelves, and then the age groups, so teen, 
uh, middle grade, early readers, um, and then graphic novels. I think that's everything. I think I, I think I did all of the things. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, let me know if you have some of the same reading qualities or facts down below. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel so that you'll know next time I make a video. Uh, yeah. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're not reading the right books. And that's all I got. <laughs> so happy reading and we'll see you next time. Bye.